Well, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Portal Masters of all ages, it is Brightlander with Portal Power TV. Um, it's been a while. It's been a day or two. It's been a month or two. Um, Skylanders Remaginators. Do you guys remember that? So I've been doing so many Skylanders Ring of Heroes videos uh, with the release of the new mobile game that I've kind of neglect, neglecting the, um, the Imaginators or my Imaginators series. So um, I've still got quite a few characters that have already been created, have been for quite some time in my um, my iPad in the, in the Creator app. And um, I've got some crystals left, and I figured I'd go ahead and knock out um, one today, maybe in a couple days, do a couple more, and see if uh, getting back into it, if you guys still have any interest. Uh, that's the big thing. So... Uh, what I'd like to know is if you would be kind enough, uh, do me the, the honor of leaving me a comment in the comments below. Is the Remaginator series something you guys still want to see? That's the big question. Um, I'm doing this video regardless. Obviously, by the time you see it, it's already out. So anyway, but um, in this one, Blue Beetle. Now, I meant to do this um, a, f a month or so ago, uh, I believe in January, because um, the DC streaming service, the new... You know, ver DC's version of Netflix and so forth came out, and they have uh, brought back Young Justice. And um, in there, um, Blue Beetle was supposed to be one of the characters, but so far this season he didn't appear. And I was kind of saving him for this this character to make that when that came out. Uh, and of course, the show came out, but I don't recall seeing Blue Beetle in any of the episodes, so it kind of it kind of just went by the wayside and kind of fell off, but. I've got him here, I'm ready to make him, and so uh, moving forward, um, we're going to go ahead and start the game up. I haven't done this in quite a while, I was like, oh my gosh, uh, PS4, what's that? I've been playing on my iPad with Ring of Heroes for so long. So, here we go, story mode. And so what I have, um, just so that you guys, I was looking, I don't, I wanted to make this with a light creation crystal, and I'm like out with the exception of one. This is the only light creation crystal I have left, so I don't know if you guys can remember these. Um, this was the special um, legendary creation crystals that were only available at Toys R Us. Where did we go? Where, where's the thing right there? At, at Toys R Us. And um, so I've got this crystal. I've never used it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it in the package and set it on the portal because it should read through the portal. So I'm going to set that right there and if I can keep from bumping the table it should stay Welcome just fine to the creation crystal portal master here you can create your very own imaginator okay Let's choose a battle class Each and so class if I can remember how to do this um, FYI I have my iPad and on it is my uh, creators uh, creation uh, creators app and I've got my character created in it, so I can use that as my menu, so to speak. This is how I make most of my videos. Um, so we are going to make him a um, quick shot. Okay, so let me go in a quick shot look, body, and so forth. So let's make him a quick shot. I'm trying to use my mouse. That's I'm an idiot. I was using my mouse to move the cursor, and inside I need my PS4 controller. There we go. Just passed it. There we go. Quick shot. All right, let's make a quick shot. Quickshot imaginators deliver justice over great distances with pinpoint precision. Are you ready to create a quick shot? I am, I am, I am. Class is a final decision. Sure it is. Alright, so create. A new quick shot is born. Now bring your imagination to life. life. Alright. So, getting into the character, I don't know how good it's going to look when it's all said and done, but let's go for it. So, we've actually got a, a version of him on the screen. I'm going to try to recreate that as close as I can with the parts that Skylanders Imaginators has to play with. So, let's go with a look and the body and the head, which we normally do. And there's all the parts that could populate it. I'm looking for the, um, that wrestler's head, the Lucho Libre, Lucha Libre head, I believe it's called. There, oh, I was just on it. All right, so there's the Lucha Libre head. And next, I want the eyes. Um, what do we do? 
I think I did glowy eyes. There we go. Because I think he, they glow white. And ears, I'm pretty sure I did not put any ears. No ears. So we can skip that. And for the chest, um, I don't remember what's called. What do we get? We got the beetle body. I'm not sure if that's going to be all the way up or all the way down. Let's go all the way at the top and then we'll come work our way down. All right, so beetle, but there it is. Beetle body. Boom. Right. Kind of makes sense. Blue beetle, beetle body. Almost a no-brainer. And for the arms, I'm pretty sure I did my good old-fashioned... Oh, nope. These are called beetle arms. Durr! I almost feel like this was just cheating. There we go. Yes. All right, so there's the ar beetle arms. And I bet you there's beetle legs, too. Yeah. It's almost like they had this guy ready to go. Pre-made. There we go. So it's a little different. He, this beetle legs have like little claw toes on it, and he doesn't. But the rest of it looks uh, pretty close to like that. So, again, this is reimagining characters. The Reimaginators. I'm reimagining them. In Skylanders Imaginators. So, uh, no tail. However, um, let's see, body, was I done? Legs, tail, no tail. Uh, we do have a weapon, and oop, I haven't unlocked everything, so I'm going to have to go play a little bit and come back. Uh, the gear, probably same situation. I'm not going to have the, the backpack that I want. Yeah, that's all locked. So real quick, we're going to disappear, leave it just the way it is, disappear. Or you guys go with me, tell you what. You guys come with me. We're going to just take him. We're going to go into the arena, level him up to level 6, and then finish. Does that work for you guys? How do I get way over here? Alright, let's run over to the arena. Let me do this all in real time here. A lot of times I'll just skip and cut this part out just to make the video shorter, but if you guys want to skip ahead to where you see I'm creating a little bit more, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, just hang with me. Battle arena. And we'll go into the battle arena. So, um, Skylanders, Remaginators. Hmm. Been a while. How many of you guys are still playing Imaginators? Well, well, As usual, well. comments below, nice right? Alright. Let's like skip. I am ready. Let's so let's go in there. Alright, let's see if we can't, how quickly we can level up to level 6, because that's usually the level that most parts, uh, or all parts, get unlocked. So, there's no parts still locked after level 6. Thing is, I gotta see if I can keep from dying. Ooh, jeez. Come on, level up. Give me at least one level. Jeez. There we go. And that'll trigger a second one here in just a second. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to survive here. Good grief. Ugh. Let's restart the level. Well, that's a little embarrassing, isn't it? Still love the graphics of this game. All right, so we're going to go back and restart this level. Well, well, well. Nice to see you again, Skylander. It looks like you're here for a rumble. Nice to see you. Ready? All right, we're going back into it. Good thing is that the crystal saves his progress so far, so we're not starting from scratch. All right, we're gonna do it this time. Hmm. 
There we go. Now we're getting it. Alright, we're level three. There's four. Sheep, dude. So, I just want to know, Chabelle, what is your take on this whole character creation business? You know, Broccoli Guy, I got to say it's pretty cool. And it's not just because I'm still still and I like to say cool and not or because. There we go. Alright, that's level oh, six, so we can get out of this. I actually stay right in the in the arena, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, so now we can go back into the look. The weapon that we want to choose, or that I chose, um, right there, Tornado Blasters. Looks, looks perfect for Blue Beetle. And then the gear, we don't have any headgear on him, but I do have shoulder guards. And the shoulder guards, believe it or not, da, 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 the beetle shoulder guard pads. And that gives him those, basically, things that are up on top of his shoulders. You see the little picture that I've got over here? So it kind of simulates those. Pretty close, not exact, but they're there. That's the port, port, important part. And then, uh, let guard, and then the backpack. And so for the backpack, there's the Aztec backpack. Nope, that's not it. Where am I looking for? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? What's it called? Let me just look it up here. Gear, backpack. It's called the Scarab's Flight. Makes sense, right? Go all the way up to the top, maybe. There it is. So kind of gives us those because he does have that backpack that, you know, comes out and automates, gives him wings from time to time. So there's what that's going to simulate. And then I don't think I put any leg guards and everything else. The character kind of already has all that on it. So let's go for sizing. Um, I'm pretty sure what I already did for size, but I'm going to replicate what I already got. So I'm going to take the height all the way up, head all the way down, upper body up a little bit. Maybe not quite that much. There we go. Muscles. I'm going to take them down a smidge and lower body. There we go. That looks good to me. Good and proportionate. Again, a lot of people criticize me and say your heads are too small. I don't want them to look cartoony and where the heads are oversized. I want them more proportionate to the way their body should be. And this is kind of the way it would be in the actual show. Look, I mean, look at his head size compared to the body um, in the reference picture. So it's not like super large. So that's what we're looking for. And then coloring. This is where it all takes time here. So um, kind of depending on how long this takes will determine whether or not I end up speeding through this or just go ahead and take it. More than likely we'll just stick with it. So um, the first color is black, you know, because we got the black in the mouth. And then we got... Um, this color is our blue, which for me is this blue here, I believe. Yes. So we're going to go with this blue and see if that ends up working out. And then I think both of these are going to be black. There we go. There's our head. Kind of see there. Gives us some semblance of the blue beetle. And then the eyes, pretty sure the eyes are just white. There we go. And the chest is going to be blue and then all black. So there's our same blue. 
And then these are all going to be black. Kind of see what's going on there. And then last. There we go. And then the arms. Should be just the same blue and black, but it's going to be two blacks, a blue, and a black. Black. Black are blue, black and black. Can I see where it's all coming together there? Once I get that backpack done, legs will be the same, blue and black. So we got blue here, Black and blue. There we go. Almost done. And then last but not least is the backpack. Let's figure out what I did for there. Oh, now I have the shoulder guards too. So we got the, so the backpack's just all blue. According to the way that I did it here. And There we go. And last are those shoulder guards up there. And the shoulder guards are two blues and a black. There we go. So that, my friends, is Blue Beetle. What do you think? I mean, just to take a look at that, would you guess Blue Beetle? I mean, did I get hit the reference picture kind of close enough? Not really sure. You guys can be the judge and let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's see, so we did gear color. Um, I'm not putting an aura on him, uh, but we do have personality. So we've got to go back a step here. Powers, we'll go that in a minute. Personality, name, Blue Beetle. Beetle, Ellie. And it's even spelled on the screen for me so I can cheat. There we go. And then let's see what I did in the way of voice. I don't know. So, voice. I'm scanning for something specific. Almost there. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, that's not the voice I need to use. Nope. Other direction. I summon my superior technology. I summon my superior technology. All right. Well, that's kind of what we're going with on this. He's kind of a cool guy. He's just a teenager, remember? So anyway, music and effects, I think I'm leaving those both at zero. Name, all that kind of stuff is great. Powers. Um, I usually like the Marksman. Yep. And the Rainbow Rampage. Yeah. What did I, did I change it? Let me see if I changed it. Personality, no powers um weapon power i did leave it as the rampo rampage but let's see what else is there the flashbang the speed of light the luminous block yeah maybe that because that'd just be some kind of power he can shoot out gunslinging it there we go all right so what do we got next um let's yeah. see yeah, like now let's see how Uh, 
Well, he kind of just ate through those guys once he's all powered up and got his... There we go. Oh, yeah. Although, full disclosure here, I don't think the weather ever actually changes in this place. That is the same every day. See you later. Booyah! Oh, had to jump in there and call it the Skylander leveling up. By saying booyah, you know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh-oh, someone call an exterminator, because we got rats in the building. So, as far as being down on the screen and stuff like that, what do you guys think? Does it look like Blue Beetle? I usually don't finish the um, arenas because then in that way it doesn't save it as a level being completed and doesn't uh, level up to the next one, which just gets harder and harder. So for my Remaginator stuff, I usually leave them on this arena level. So before I complete the third round, so to speak, I will... Um... Uh, you know what? This isn't my favorite. Let me change the power. My favorite power for this is not a wild cell gunslinging it down here. This is what I'm going to change to Death Blossom. There we go. Love that power. Look at that. Boom. All right, so we're going to go ahead and exit. The go to the main menu? No, let's just go to the map. We'll go out to the map. Get out of the arena. Take another close look at him. Take him off the portal, all that kind of fun stuff. And I think we'll be done with the video. A little longer than normal. A lot of times these videos, well, these used to be 20, 30 minutes, and then I got them down to like the 10 to 15 minute range. This one's about 20. So there's a close up. Uh oh, attack. surprise attack. I guess it's going to be a little longer. You guys want to hang out? This is normally where I do the battling. So, have any of y'all seen uh, the new Young Justice Season 3, which is on the DC streaming service? What do you guys think of it? Saw the whole series. It's already been all released. Um, there we go. All the episodes for the season, I think, are out, or half the season at least. It's okay. It's not as good as the first season. I think first season is still by far the best. Superior technology. All right, so we're going to take him off the portal for a second. Put him back on. I summoned my superior technology. That's it. All right, guys. I think that pretty much completes this video. Um, I have quit doing the chirps for those who can remember because virtually nobody else still has the creator app in their uh, phone or, or tablets. Uh, and it's not available in the, the app store any longer. So if you had accidentally deleted it and thought you want to go back and get it, you can't. It's not there. So, so few people can actually receive the chirp and do all that kind of stuff. It's just not a point in doing it. So I apologize for the few of you that may. But that's pretty much it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the return of Skylanders Remaginators. Uh, there will be more, I do promise, unless a bunch of you just say, hey, no, don't bother. We don't watch them anyway. So anyway, this has been Brylander with Portal Power TV. Signing off. Take care. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.